Security Gateway's secure messaging portal helps protect confidential data sent via email from getting into the wrong hands. Emails containing sensitive content can only be accessed by authorized recipients over a secure, encrypted connection via the secure messaging web portal. To begin using secure messaging in Security Gateway, check the box to enable it, and then specify the recipients who are authorized to receive secure messages. When this box is checked, Security Gateway can do this for you automatically, or you can simply click on the Recipients menu and enter them manually. When adding a new recipient, the first step is to confirm the domain that the recipient is associated with. If a domain has been assigned its own custom branding or logos, they'll be displayed on the Secure Messaging Portal login screen for users associated with that domain. Next, enter the Secure Messaging recipient's email address and name in the blanks below. Secure Messaging recipients will need a password to log into the Secure Messaging Portal. Select this option if you'd like the recipient to specify their own password. You can optionally check this box and specify a PIN that must be entered before the recipient can specify a password. Select the second option to specify a password for the recipient. And then, click Save and Close to finish adding the recipient. Use the Recipient Options screen to control various user permissions, such as whether to allow recipients to modify their own passwords or whether to allow or require users to use two-factor authentication. Check this box to alert the global administrator whenever a secure messaging recipient is created. And check this box to prevent users from using any passwords that have been exposed in a data breach. If you'd like to allow secure message recipients to compose secure messages to local users, you can specify those users under Message Composition. Check the box to allow secure message recipients to compose new messages to specified local users, and then select from the list of available email addresses. Secure message recipients can always reply back to the original sender without having to list them here. Administrators can specify which messages to send securely using one of three easy methods, the content filter, data leak prevention rules, or CIV scripts. To configure the content filter for secure messaging, specify a name for your content filter rule. Next, click the link below to add a condition. The content filter can look for content found in the message sender or recipient, the sending IP address, the message headers, or the message subject or body. A single rule can search for multiple words or phrases, and you can choose whether any or all of the items listed must be included in the message. Once all conditions have been entered, click on the Action menu and select Send as Secure Web Message, then click Save and Close. The second method for adding secure message rules is through data leak prevention rules. You can create your own rules or customize an existing rule. Under the Action menu, Simply select Send as Secure Web Message, just like we did when creating a content filter rule. The third way to add secure messaging rules is through CIV scripts. CIV is an email filtering language that Security Gateway mail processing rules are based on. You can create your own custom CIV scripts for more complex filtering operations. Secure message recipients will receive an email containing a link to Security Gateway's Secure Message Portal. Simply log in to read your secure messages. Secure message recipients can always send a secure reply to the sender. They can also compose a new secure message to specific administrator-approved local users.